the common disorder or uh, problem that uh, females suffer they there can be various disorders according to the age group like uh, in the early uh, ages we usually find benign disorders and in the later stages of life uh, huge concern that many females suffer from is uh, that of a malignancy or cancer so uh, the common disorder that uh, disorder or issue that uh, people suffer from is breast pain common symptom would be pain so we uh, find a huge number of patients uh, in the early to middle age group who present with breast pain which can again have several causes and uh, there can be several uh, patients with who present with discharge from the breast again discharge can be uh, milky which can have several causes like hormonal causes and then uh, there there can be bloody discharge from the breast which can be a sign of malignancy though not always malignancy that is uh, as in cancer and uh, otherwise uh, there can be asymmetry in shape i would say uh, several uh, patients also present with uh, asymmetry in shape or increase increase and decrease, decrease in size which would go in the purview of plastic surgery i would say but uh, that is not a major chunk breast is a part of the endocrine system of the body it is also it is a modified sweat gland it is a sweat gland but it is a modified one also related to the hormonal system that is the endocrine system of the body so when a female achieves puberty the breast grows in size and uh, the ultimate uh, aim of a breast in the human body is to nurture the child so uh, the causes uh, there there can be several causes like uh, some disorders in the hormonal system leading to several issues like discharge pain in the breast uh, some people have cyclical pain like uh, in association with the menstrual cycles and apart from that uh, in breast malignancies or cancers we can have them again presenting with pain is not a very common complaint usually uh, there is some lump in the breast some swelling and uh, or maybe some discharge at some point so causes some important causes obviously something of concern would be a tumor or a lump which is a cancer and apart from that there can be several benign lumps and uh, there can be several other causes of discharge and uh, pain in the breast breast disorders would be diagnosed whenever a lady feels that uh, she has got some problem in her breast she will usually visit a clinician who will initially take a history of the problem that she is having do a thorough clinical examination and recommend certain tests which would again include some imaging basically uh, radiological tests like a special x ray which is a mammography in the west there is routine screening by mammography of patients uh, so that they can pick up early breast cancers and uh, there can be other tests like final aspiration there are some th- those are pathological tests like if you have something suspicious on the radiology that can be picked up uh, that can be sampled by a fine needle or a specific kind of a biopsy which is called a cone needle biopsy and uh, thus the a diagnosis can be made possible treatments are like uh, that depends on the etiology or the cause that is cause uh, i mean the thing that is causing the problem so uh, if if it is related to a something benign there is the an issue with the endocrine system of the lady uh, we try to address the issue in consultation with an endocrinologist or a physician who can help the female achieve endocrine balance hormonal balance by exercise dietary changes lifestyle changes there are few drugs which can also help and uh, apart from that there are few benign lumps which usually do not le- require surgical excision or surgery but if the uh, female feels that she is having uh, some issues or she is uncomfortable with it she can get it removed or if it is growing in size then she can always get it removed and uh, apart from that uh, in uh, malignancy or cancer there are multimodal uh, management which includes surgery radiotherapy and also chemotherapy 
prevention has got a very important role in breast disorders like uh, for young females the common complaint is a nostalgia which is again as we were talking that it is related to the hormonal balance in the body so the suggestion would be to uh, have a healthy lifestyle like to include exercise to do regular exercises even at home would do to have a good sleep to avoid junk food to drink a lot of water uh, all of this actually help in relation to breast cancer the suggestion would be uh, actually it is said that uh, or it is said or actually uh, the thing is it is in relation to the estrogen exposure that a female has so that can be reduced by uh, actually bearing a child or uh, when it is seen that uh, nulliparous women who have not born a child they have higher chances of breast cancer and apart from that uh, when when she bears a child she should exclusively breastfeed the baby one year of breastfeeding actually helps so that can be a cumulative one like uh, if the lady has two children then six months of exclusive breastfeeding in each of the child will actually reduce her chances of getting a cancer 